What's up all faves? Welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do this video today because a few years ago I was sitting in my cubicle office and just was daydreaming and thinking about how are all these people making money on social media and I generally thought that it was just more the younger generation. But when I decided to take the leap of faith and jump into this market, I found so many ways that you even over the age of 30 can do the same thing and bring money in using social media. So I'm gonna share with you guys five different ways on how I have been able to monetize on social media and make money. You don't have to be a superstar or have a million followers. And if you're interested in learning a little more about what I have to say, keep watching. Okay, so for the first way, you guys, it's going to be through direct sales. Okay, so I know, I know you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, Cassie, what, really? This has been my number one money maker so far, but before you roll your eyes and stop watching this video, just keep watching because I do have a few more ways on how you can monetize off of social media without direct sales, but I'm gonna tell you why this is a huge money maker for those of you that are interested in jumping into social media and how you can use this for your new business. One of the biggest ways is because it's kind of like a business in a box. So it's like there's no overhead cost. And I'm gonna tell you from somebody who has started many businesses on her own, it costs a lot of money. So if you are ready to jump into owning your own business and this isn't the route that you're gonna go, you better be prepared in making a large investment. So what I like about direct sales is that everything is pretty much covered for you. There is no overhead. Another reason is all of the research, things around the product is already taken care of for you. And so you can pretty much just jump right on in and start working your business and start bringing the money in. So product investment, research, building the products, shipping the products, all of that is handled on the back end so you can focus on what matters most. Now hold your horses but because before you jump into direct sales, you wanna do a little bit of research first. There's a couple of things you wanna think about before jumping in. So one of those is the company. So there's so many out there, you probably know, no, I guarantee you know somebody that's already in direct sales. They're everywhere. You gotta think about the company that you are going to be putting your name behind. Do you believe in their values and do you believe in their mission? Don't just jump into a company because your friend is also in that company or there's so many other people in that same company. You have to believe in their mission and their value. The second thing is the products. Are these consumable products? Because you wanna make sure that it's something that your customers are going to be buying, using, and coming back for more. Also, you wanna make sure that it's a product that you love and you have a little bit of passion behind as well. The third thing is who it is that you are joining under because with direct sales, you are gonna be joining with somebody or partnering with somebody and you wanna ensure that it's someone that you trust and you can gain some value from that's gonna give you material and training so that you can get a good jump start on your business and you're not left behind in the dust and curious as to what's going on. Okay, so you're probably saying, okay, so Kazzy, how on earth can you use direct sales with social media? Well, these go hand in hand these days because direct sales is not like it used to be. We actually use social media to network and meet other people. I, for one, actually use this for my business because it's a way for me to reach out to people and find new customers all the way around the world. Okay, another way is through a affiliate marketing. So this is probably new to some of you guys, but there are really retailers and companies out there that will give you a small commission when you promote or share their products or services. And when somebody orders that product or service, then they're gonna give you a little bit of cut from that sale. I mean, you gotta think about it. We market all the time. For example, when you go buy your 
favorite cup of coffee and if you took a picture of that and you post it on social media and you have a friend that goes by that same cup of coffee you usually don't get anything from that except your friend just loves the same cup of coffee as you do well th in this kind of example if you have an affiliate link and you share a picture of your favorite coffee with your affiliate link and a friend goes and uses your link to get that same coffee, then you're gonna get a little bit of a commission paid back to you because your friend used your affiliate link for coffee. So that is how you earn a little bit of money from working with affiliate marketing. Makes sense? I am going to share with you a little quick video on how I find some affiliates. Okay guys, so basically whenever I'm interested in affiliates, I search the company in affiliates. So for Amazon, for example, I just come in here and search Amazon affiliate and it's gonna tell you that it has an affiliate program. So I'm just gonna search in here and it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know about joining an affiliate program. So I'm just gonna go in here and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you read up on the details and the policies because one of the things about the Amazon affiliate program is that there are some caveats to it and you would have to have a purchase within the 180 days or it's gonna lock your account. So you wanna make sure that whenever you're joining an affiliate program that you understand uh, the policies that surround it. I use Canva a lot and we can search Canva affiliate. So, and I already know that Canva does not, they have a partnership program. Uh, here and what you can do is go through there's an application process and you can submit an application process for it So that's how I get associated with an affiliate. So anytime that I Love something that I use and I know that I'm going to be sharing it with my audience Then I check to see if there's an affiliate program so that I can get the monet monetization off of that Welcome back. So I will say affiliate marketing works But it's not a great way that you can depend on financial freedom or income unless you have a really strong following and a lot of people are purchasing from those affiliates. Okay, we're gonna jump to the third one which is content marketing. I am so passionate about this. This is another great way and a huge way that I earn money through social media. I am going to read the definition from Google so I don't mess up on exactly explaining what content marketing is. Okay, ready? It is a type of marketing that involves the creation and sharing of online materials such as videos, blogs, and social media posts that does not explicitly promote a brand that is intended to stimulate interest in its products or services. Whew. Clear as mud, right? Clear as mud, y'all. Okay, so basically, it means that I give you something that interests you, something of value. I'm gonna do that through like video, YouTube, like, like right now. I'm giving you guys something that interests you, something of value and content that you're going to enjoy and get something from. So you're probably like, okay, Cassie, that's pretty awesome and amazing, but how do you make money from it? I don't understand. Well, I'm so glad you asked. I thought that it would be easier if I showed you instead of trying to explain. If you're already creating content but not gaining any sales, it's because you're not using funnels. And I'm gonna show you what that is and how I use it for my business. So here's my secret. I use funneling through what I call sharing. And so what it stands for is to share, add trust, and relationship engagement. I consistently share valuable content each week on all of my social media platforms. And when I do that, I also give a free powerful resource that they can download. But when they do that, they have to go to my branded website in order to get that valuable content. When they go to my website, they enter their name and email address. And this is how I further build upon the relationship because I future send them other resources that's gonna provide them a value. And as they gain trust and credibility in me, they may decide to invest in my training that's going to increase and help them build their business. For example, if you had your own beauty company, you would post your own beauty blog or beauty tutorial and then for a free download, it would be a complete, complete beauty guide 
or a how-to type of material. And then for monetary value, you could have a subscription program or a newsletter. Basically, they gain value from watching you and they want more of you. And in order to get your attention in one-on-one, -on -one, they subscribe to your content on a regular basis. And you could do live tutorials with them, give them a little more of you and interact more one-on-one -on -one with them. And that's what they're subscribing for. Let's look at this from a product side. So it's the same concept. You would post on a consistent basis and it would be something of value. It could be you doing a tutorial look on maybe it could be a smoky eye and then the download would be how to complete a step-by-step -step guide or a beauty guide. And then in your free download, you're gonna have valuable content, but you can also list the products that you've used and you can have a link out to your distri distributed website so they can purchase if they so choose. Then you also have their contact information so you can send them newsletters or emails in the future for sales or new product releases when you have promotions going. Now that you guys know what funnels are, you can implement this strategy for your business and start seeing customers come to you instead of you're constantly pulling your hair out trying to figure out where to go get an audience. Just get creative with your content and start creating those funnels that have clients coming to you. Sounds interesting, right? So content management is seriously probably the best and easiest ways to make money on social media. Especially when you pair it together with direct sales. Okay, so now we're at number four, which is da, 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 YouTube. So you most definitely can make money with YouTube. You see it all the time, all these YouTube extraordinaires. And if you are in business for yourself, I highly recommend that you post your videos on YouTube. The reason why is because once you gain enough of a following and you get enough of viewing of your videos, you can monetize those videos and start earning money for ads that you can post with your videos from other companies. So why wouldn't you do that? right now there is a rule of thumb in order to start monetizing through youtube usage you have to have about four thousand hours of viewing and a thousand subscribers so what that really means is you have to have people that are viewing your content for four thousand hours and a thousand of those people have to subscribe to your channel. Once you meet those two criterias, then you can monetize your channel. And what that means is that there are people, companies out there that are willing to pay you to run their ads with your video. And when your followers watch those ads or click on those ads, then those companies will pay you a small commission for posting the ads with your videos. So studies have shown, our research has shown, that you need about 50 to 100 videos before you really start to get those hours of watch time or subscribers so that you can monetize your videos. Pretty awesome, right? Now for me, I am still fresh and new at sharing all of my content on YouTube, but if I keep doing this and I keep using my methods and strategies, I will get there for the monetization, but I'm not in a big hurry for that because I have these other methods in place for social media usage and gaining profit from that. Now my fifth and final way is through brand partnership. And you guys have probably seen this and you may have heard about it, but it's basically where these other companies wanna build a relationship with you and you share their brand. It's kind of similar to affiliates, um, but a little different. So some of these companies and they will reach out to you and they will offer you monetization or profits or commissions should you decide to share their brand with your content. Now I have a partnership with a company uh, and one of the fallbacks of this is that you're constantly having to work with them and share their brand with your content. Um, but you have to um, do this on a frequent basis and meet their requirements. But a, a good thing of this is should any of your followers 
purchase any of that brand, then you're gonna get a commission and payback from the company. Now, one of the great things of this is that with the, the brand partnership that I have, they actually do a boost and they boost the ads when I do share the content, which bring new followers to me. And that is the primary reason why I do it. I don't do it for the profit or the sales. I do it to bring new people and new exposure and audiences to me so that I can share my personal brand. Now, usually this works better if you are a great influencer and you have built a huge following for yourself. Um, otherwise, you're not gonna see a, a great intake of income from this tip uh, but if you're building a great brand it can be beneficial to you and your business so i hope you took at least one good tip away and you decide to use these in your business or launch your business for the very first time because I know it can be a little scary and a little intimidating when you're getting out there in social media for the first time and you're a little not sure what to do or where to go, but it is so worth it and so exciting and it can be extremely financially rewarding. So for joining me today, I am giving you my free five powerful headlines that's going to help you when you do decide to start sharing your content it is a great resource i always like to give something free when i share something but go hop over there and download your free giveaway and i will see you guys next time